NBC has just announced that they are firing Donald Trump from the network. They will no longer have Miss USA or Miss Universe pageants on their network. And they're also no longer going to air The Apprentice, at least not with Donald Trump as the host. I feel like society has actually benefited from his ignorance because I hate those pageants. Mm -hmm. So the fact that those pat I don't know, maybe they're going to air on some other network, but I can't imagine any other network wanting to touch Trump right now, especially because he's gone nuclear, you know, with his hatred of Mexicans. And I love how he doubles down on it. Like, mm -hmm. these, these claims are accurate. Based on what, right? Like, oh, they bring their criminals and their rapists and their drug dealers. And based on what? Based on what? Give us some statistics, right? There are no statistics. This and is shocking. It's, it is shocking. Up to 80% of migrant women and girls are raped during their border crossing by the traffickers smuggling them across other migrants or corrupt U.S. Border Patrol officials, right? Like, oh, they bring their criminals and their rapists and their drug dealers and... Based on what? Believe it. But it turns out Amnesty International did a similar study in 2010, and their number was 60%, at least 60%. So it is apparently in that ballpark. 60 to 80 percent of women crossing the border get raped. Based on what? Give us some statistics, right? There are no statistics. It's, it is shocking. Up to 80 percent of migrant women and girls are raped during their border crossing by the traffickers smuggling them across other migrants or corrupt U.S. Border Patrol officials. Right? There are no statistics. And it's because he made everything up, he's a hateful individual, and he's doubling down on everything he believes. 60 to 80 percent of women crossing the border get raped. Did you know? That's amazing. He, yeah. he claims that he was surprised to find out people were offended by that. <laughs> he's ama but that shows you the bubble that he's in constantly. Yeah. But that shows you the bubble that he's in constantly. Yeah. Completely unaware of what the reality is, completely bought into the anti-immigrant propaganda that's being thrown out there by conservatives. It's to the anti immigrant propaganda that's being thrown out there by conservatives. It's disgusting. Absolutely no citation of any sources and anything he said, right? Not like this is a thesis or anything, yeah. but still. I mean, really? Okay, so the, what percentage are rapists? What percentage are criminals? Right? He just totally speaks out of his ass. Yeah. Up to 80% of migrant women and girls are raped during their border crossing by the traffickers smuggling them across other migrants. Still, I mean, really? Okay, so the, what percentage are rapists? What percentage are criminals? Right? He just totally... Speaks out of his ass. Yeah. I want to make this official. Uh, I was one of the first to say that Donald Trump would win the Republican primaries. I said it six months before the primary voting began. I said it six months before the primary voting began. On June of 2015, well before others could get themselves to believe it. So we are going to unblur Donald Trump from now on. He is, whether we like it or not, legitimate. Now, that's the Republican field, but could he really be president of the United States? Well, Hillary Clinton was beating him by a long shot when this whole process began. Uh, I was one of the first to say that Donald Trump would win the Republican primaries. I said it six months before the primary voting began. God help us all if, if in some insane miracle Donald Trump happens to win this thing, which he's not going to, he's not actually running, this is a giant publicity stunt. Like, ooh, I like that guy, mm -hmm. right? And so the more they're firing the phasers, the bigger he's getting. But once the voting starts, he's finished. In That's probably true. That's I probably really true. Think he's finished. That's probably true. Because his shit may fly in New Hampshire, it will not in Iowa. Well, okay, it's very, very likely true. But what if it was? So <laughs> eventually, he will say something that is too outrageous. Eventually, he will make the wrong enemies, like Fox News. And that will eventually be his undoing. But if he loses the Republican nomination, which I, again, still think three to one chance that he will, right? Uh, I was one of the first to say that Donald Trump would win the Republican primaries. I said it six months before the primary voting began on June of 2015. So I tell you that because um, I don't let my personal opinions of Donald Trump affect uh, my sense of whether he's going to win or lose. He's only one step away from being the candidate for the Republican Party. I'm not saying that. The Republicans are saying that. They're asking them, 
Who do you like? They're like, well, we love Trump. I am your voice. <laughs> See? Sounds like he'd be really good for the economy. Yeah, <laughs> and and then and so that leads us to us oh, to our final irony. He said about his run for the White House, quote, I will be the greatest jobs president that God ever created.